Hello, I'm Erin and this is lesson four of traditional Irish fiddle. So in the last lesson I had set to learn the positions of the fingers and the notes on the fingerboard and to work on the tune Happy Birthday and getting it at a good steady pace. I'm going to play through Happy Birthday now and we can play it together and then we're going to move on to another tune. I give you the notes of happy birthday two lessons ago so put them up now and we'll play through this nice and slow at a steady pace. Play with me if we can. One, two, three, four. So if you're able to play along with that, you're doing really well. So just keep working on that behind the scenes. And we're just gonna, before we move on again, we're going to work on our positions on the fingerboard. I'm gonna recap where they're meant to go and what the notes are. So you can play them along with me or just follow along what I'm doing here now. So starting on the G string, we have G, then A, then B, then C and D E F G and on to the A string we have A B C then C sharp then D then E string F G, A. So you should know those pretty well so far. I gave you the fingerboard last week so you can still use that to help you but hopefully you're more familiar with it now. We are now moving on to a tune called Sean Sai. Um, the last tune we learned Happy Birthday it was a song and this tune is a march. So that means that the tempo is very important in this to keep a steady beat the whole time when we're playing this tune. I am going to put up the notes for this tune now. So do what you did for Happy Birthday, either pause the video and write them out or screenshot and put it on another device which you can put it on while we are learning this. So we're going to go through it slowly. It's called Sean's side and it starts on G. So look at our fingerboard G and D string one, two, three, A, E, F, G. Okay, the first three notes, which are together pretty much. The first three notes are G, A, B. So we're gonna play those really nice and slow and get them right. Okay, so once you've got those and find them, we move on to the next two notes, which is A, B. So look at our fingerboard and find those notes. Okay, and then on to the next two notes are two Ds, low Ds. And then at the end of that line, the two notes are the three, three last notes are B, A, G. So if we want to play all of that line together, nice and slow, take your time. One, two, three. Okay. So if in case you don't know how this tune goes, you can look it up on YouTube and listen to it, or I'll just play it now for you to hear it so you know how it goes. So this is the first part and the second part and then back to the first part for one go.
play the first part twice, then we move on to the second part, then we go back to the first part for one part and make sure to hold the G at the end. Now that is our aim, that's what we aim to sound like, but there's no pressure to get at that speed if we can play all the notes by the end of this lesson and are familiar with the tune, then that is our goal. Okay, so now that we have gone over the first line, we're going to do it again. Just nice and slow, play along with me if you can. Okay, now we're going to move on to the second line. It starts with two notes. D and E, and those now, nice and slow. And then the next two notes, two Gs. And then A and then G, hold it on a little bit longer to that last G. Okay, so we're gonna play that line all together. So now we're going to play the whole of the first part over nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we have covered the first part. We're going to move on to the second part and go through it nice and slow. It is a wee bit more tricky, so just make sure to stay with me and take it nice and slow. So the first two notes are B and C. This is not C sharp, so it's B here and C beside it. So nice and slow. Okay, up to the next three notes are high G. They're played up here, high. They're on the A string. We want to play those nice and loud and clear. Make sure to get full, nice bows, and take your time, nice and slow. Okay, next part we're going to split it up. We're going to do B and D to high D, so. Okay, and then the next three notes are E, E, and D. E is our far string. E, E, and then D, which we just played. Okay, so that is the first line all done. So we're gonna go through it nice and slow. Okay, so now that we have covered the first line, we're gonna move on to the second line, it's slightly easier. But still, we're gonna take it nice and slow. First three notes are G, A, B. Nice and slow. Next note is down to E on its own. And then the next three notes are C, B, A. Okay, and then we're going to play that whole part all together. After that, when we play through the whole tune, we will go back to the first part. We don't need to play that again, though. So I'm going to go through the whole tune nice and slow together. With, play with me if you can.
Okay, you can see there what I did. I played the first part, then I played the second part twice, and then I came back to the first part again. So I want you to work on the chin. Work on the first part mainly because if you can get that off and not worry about the second part, then that will be great for next week. We're going to work on that chin again next week and hopefully we can get it at a good speed and keep working at that. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something this lesson in lesson four beginner fiddle. Thank you.